Hello, I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com, and this is Between the Lines. We're getting new information about that deadly intersection at Mark Scheffel and Bradley Roads, where two people were killed recently. Joining us now is Gazette reporter Andrea Sinclair, and what new information do you have? Today we received a spreadsheet from Colorado Springs Police Department giving us a breakdown of all of the accidents that have been tracked at this intersection. Now what we know is that besides the two fatalities on Friday, there was also a fatal crash there in 2007, in February of 2007. I'm, in, I'm getting information from police department right now to get, to get more details about that crash. Who was, the, who was the victim of the fatal crash and what the circumstances of it were. Right now also I'm waiting for information from the city communications department and from traffic management into what other intersections inside Colorado Springs have the standing red cycle that we talked about with uh, Bradley and Mark Shuffle Road intersection, why those cycles work that way and which ones have been operating correctly and when have they not been op operating correctly. So that's what we're waiting on right now and we will hopefully have that information tomorrow and then we will expand on that with another article. But going back to the spreadsheet, one question comes to mind. One accident is obviously too many, but for Colorado Springs Police, is that an inordinate amount of accidents, deadly or otherwise? It has not been an inordinate, inordinate amount of crashes for the, for the intersection. By my count and the information on the spreadsheet, there have been 29 crashes recorded at that intersection since 2006. And what I've been told by traffic management and police department is that that is a reasonable amount of accidents for one intersection of with that amount of traffic flow. All right, thank you very much, Andrew. And of course, you can read Andrew's full report on Gazette.com. For Between the Lines, I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com.